And at long last, welcome everybody back to the channel for another episode of Tony Stewart's Sprint Car Racing. You know, it's been a while since I came out with an episode of this because I was trying to diagnose what was wrong with my wheel. Luckily, um, all the technical gremlins with the wheel are all ironed out now. So, gonna bring you the last four races of the season for us here. Had a rather disappointing showcase, but I think we unlocked a new sponsor for next season for our midgets. Or for our midget, I should say. I don't think we're going to be going up to the 305 sprint. But something I want to show you that I just figured out apparently five minutes ago. Here we are in the garage, repaired everything. I thought these were the only six uh, things we could buy for a given part. Turns out there's two star equipment and three star equipment. Um, so that's a big oopsies on my part. So. I thought, you know, that was the fastest our midget could go. Apparently I'm wrong. We could go even faster. And we have uh, $12,000 in the bank here. Going into our next race, I think five forks speedway, five flags. It's not five flags. Um, that was a tricky part, figuring out what we want to upgrade. Figure. Can't go wrong with the engine. So let's see. Actually, no. Yes, we can, because... That's way too expensive. Um, control. Blah, blah, blah. See how much a chassis is. Uh, durability is not that great. And we only gain four performance points. Uh, let's, oop, wrong button. Let's check the tires. Performance points? No, that's another plus four. Um, plus ten. That's plus twenty. That's expensive. That's Fourteen. Let's go with this. Uh, the top of the line, two star tires, should help us get some extra traction. This will help if I actually click the button. There we go. So let's see how uh, well this treats us at our next track. So, five forks. A um, little bit of interesting track right here. Got to uh, keep it right around the bottom. Not much of a top lane here. Felt kind of sluggish in qualifying. But uh, I can definitely feel just how good those new tires are. Definitely better off the exit, but still not as fast as I think we can be. Alright, coming around to take the checkered. Qualifying is now over. And 17. Eh, we'll make do with it. We are seconds away from the action. And we're under green. Alright, starting P5 right here should hopefully transfer the ease to the A main. Well, I thought we could do a little bit better there, but Checker. top five will do it. So generally, I think I can uh, pick up a few spots here. At least in the A main, so let's see if we get our second top ten. Ooh, that's two for one special. Let's see what we've got 
constantly working on improving our racetrack here, so head on down to the concession stand and grab a bite to eat. That's a solid lap. Kind of bullying folks around a little bit, but uh, forward progress. The dirt is really flying out there. This race is getting intense. Any money you spend on our concessions directly back into making track improvements. So please enjoy the show and spend what you got. All proceeds from today's racing action go directly back into the track for improvements. Five more to go. The drivers seem to be getting into a rhythm out there. Great job. Amazing. That was a great lap. Constantly working on improving our racetrack here, so head on down to the concession stand and grab a bite to eat. I think we could get up there and challenge for the top ten here, but uh, gotta keep the leader behind us. If we get an extra lap out of it. Well, unfortunately, we're not going to get that top 10, but can't be mad about 11th. So race one of four for this episode is down. I feel we could definitely be pleased with that just outside the top 10, but um, new tires definitely felt great. Felt we could get great traction off the exit of the corners. So um, I think we're heading back to Woodley Motor Speedway, similar shaped uh, track to what we just ran at five forks. Um, let's see here. So we've upgraded the tires. Um, engine, I imagine, is going to be pretty expensive to upgrade. So we might have to look at doing the suspension next. I know we don't have enough at the moment. Yeah, durability is too low right there. Um, yeah, we're probably going to wait before we upgrade anything. But let's just get this stuff repaired, and then we'll head on out to Woodley. Let's see what you can bring to the table. It's qualified. I thought this little bull ring was a little familiar. You can't run this little, uh top part of the dog leg right here but uh gonna want to mostly stay down low fun little track first lap was pretty good i don't know if we're going better the second one Nope, just slightly slower. 16th place, not bad. Buckle in tight. This should be a great race. That's the green flag. Race hard. Clearly, to keep it all I gotta do right here is just swoop low. Got single file pretty quick. Should be all right here. This race has been a great one. Let's see what we've got the rest of the way. Ooh, getting a little high. One more lap to go. Oh, 
Oh, I think we can be pretty pleased about that. P3 in a heat. Cool. Pretty good starting spot right here, P12. Let's see what we can do. It's probably going to get one right off the bat here. Jeez, what a mob of cars this is. Trying desperately hold on to the top 10. Oop. Oop. Story of this race, bowl someone over or get bowled over yourself. Uh, that was a horrific exit right there. Gotta make up some spots here. It's going to be a little dirty right there. Get off me, get off me, get off me. That's top 10. And it's gone. Well, I had to do a little bit of fighting, but P11, not bad. Well, the good news is we just uh, beat our sponsor goal. Now I got to pick a new one. Uh, two top 10s within these last two races. That's probably asking for too much. So just go for this one top 15, get a little payout, or normal size payout, and just take what we can get. But uh, another weird shaped oval for the next race at Arrowwood. Um, don't know if we got enough to upgrade the suspension yet. Let's take a look. Um, I think we could wait. Anyways, uh, on to Arrowwood. To Sorry, these little oblong shaped ovals are always kind of weird, but on the way around here, parade around the bottom on the corners and uh, just put it out to the wall. So you can't cut this dog leg a little bit, although it kind of ruins your entry to one there, so. That felt pretty decent. Um, let's see. 15th? Yep, pretty good. We are just about ready to start. Should be a good race. So as per usual, just kind of making the top five here. Um, starting P4. Just get in line here. As ooh, he's taking a look. A little bit of contact. Top five still transfers, but we could definitely do better than this. 
There's a receipt. Got a bit of run here on the outside. I don't think I've ever really made a pass on the outside before. One of Mazars. How about that? All right, P4. See you in the evening. All right, P15. See what we can do. just bowl you over they don't even care and now I don't even care we are seconds away from the action let's just re-rack right here and get back at it p16 our nose down and dig. Flying one to go. 
Well, definitely not pleased with that one as we got nipped at the line. P14, not great. Well, I think that definitely could have went a little better. Uh, could have kept it a little cleaner right there, but luckily we did get the top 15 that we were looking for with our sponsor goal. So that's already accomplished ahead of the final race of the season, which apparently is also a TQ midget showcase. So probably better off uh, upgrading the midget for this race and hopefully picking up a good sponsor for next season or an even better sponsor. But uh, let's see here. So going in the garage, I think. Well, I know we're not upgrading the tires, so pair of those, get that done with. Probably either the chassis or the suspension right here. Uh, we're just short of this one. This one right here, the aluminum combo kit. That's what I'm looking at uh, the most for uh, installing. Let's see. How much would a chassis be? Also pretty, uh, pretty expensive, but let's see. So that'd be plus seven. Again, engines, that's way too expensive no matter what we do. So then I guess it's plus seven no matter what we do. Suspension or the chassis. So, Let's just get the chassis upgraded. Alright, so that's equipped. Repair this stuff. Oh no, we don't have enough money to repair it. Oops. Yeah, we uh, depleted a whole lot of our stuff right there. But, no matter. Got uh, one race left this season. Let's showcase race at Sugarbush, low half mile in Tennessee. Should be pretty fun. I'll see you guys there. To go and do your best. It's this is a fun little track right here, I tell you. It's uh, flat. And just a parade around the bottom, but uh, we're carrying a lot of speed right here. Should hopefully be a really good qualifying effort. First of two qualifying laps, here we go. That lap was just okay. We're a bit slower that one, but let's see here. P16. That's all right. Ready to go. So take your seats and enjoy the action. So if you may remember, here at the showcase weekend, uh, transfer rules out of the heats are a little different. Top three, get into the A main. Top two, get into the qualified dash as per usual. Jump pretty fast here. Let's see what we can do. He's taking a wide corner right there. I think we're going to get P2. I had a feeling we get in the top three with no problem, but just play good defense here. I think we could get into the dash. Wide again for some reason. Scoop low, protect the bottom. Just make it a shot. That's a good block. And we are going to the dash. I'll see you there. So as has been the case every single time against the qualified dash, I'm just happy to be here because I know I'm getting the A main regardless. Let's just see what we can do.
I don't know if it's me liking the track or if it's the car improvements, but holy cow, we're in P2 right now in a qualifying dash. This is nuts. Don't let them swoop low. Ooh, that hurt. But actually, that halted them enough. Just throw another block. And we got a front row starting spot for the A main. How about that? Front row starting spot here. Feeling pretty good. About top 10 at least. Top 5. Yeah, we'll see. Actually, he's making a move right here for the lead. He's temporarily in the lead. He's going to swoop us right back. Playing defense, a bit dirty there, but any way we can get it. The dirt is really flying out there. This race is getting intense. Well, there goes Tony Stewart. So I, I think our chance for leads probably uh, done for. But uh, let's see what we can get. Bags were hanging on the second right here, and Stewart's not running away completely. It's pretty encouraging. The drivers seem to be getting into a rhythm out there. Great job. At this point, I'm just hoping we catch a caution or he just catches uh, lap traffic pretty poorly. But he's starting to stretch that lead on us a little bit. But I think we're stretching lead on P3.
drivers seem to be getting into a rhythm out there. Great job. Well, unfortunately, we're not going to get the win, but I really don't know how he could be disappointed with P2. That could have finished for us. We'll see at the main menu. Well, that was pretty incredible. I had no idea we were going to have a second place finish in us. I thought we were just going to finish in the top 10 again. But we unlocked a new sponsor. Actually, it's the same sponsor, Jake's Golf Carts, for next season. Um, before ending this episode, I figure, why not? Let's show the preparations for next season. Let's see. Signing bonus, average payout. I think it's a no-brainer. We're going back with Jake's golf carts, so don't have to redesign the midget or anything. Had a hefty cash flow coming out of uh, the showcase race. Gained about $20,000, uh, so that's going to go back into the midget. And with that, uh, or at this point, that's going to be the end to this episode. Hope you all enjoyed this first season in the TQ midgets here in Tony Stewart Sprint Car Racing. We'll be back for a second season. Finished 12th in points this inaugural rookie season. Um, I think we get top 5 in points next season if we just keep putting more money into the midget. So, hope you all enjoyed this season, and I'll see you for the next one. Thanks for watching.